Tom. I can't believe they pinned me against you. You're so smart. You'll be fine, Yori. Just concentrate. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to What the Heck, the show in which we give answers, you guess the question. I'm your host, Boron. And I'm your co-host, Silicon. <laughs> Before we meet our contestants, Silicon, what kind of drink did you just hand me? Are you trying to poison me with this muddy concoction? Well, maybe you could pour water onto your own concentrated brown goo drink mix next time. I'm your co-host, not your servant. <laughs> Someone hasn't read her contract. <laughs> Anyhow, all, welcome to What the Heck. Look out for possible particles flying from our first contestant today, our very radioactive uranium. Our next contestant from the noble gases, give it up for Xenon. And our third contestant from the periodic tables D block, welcome Ruthenium. Contestants, our first answer. This is a mixture in which a solute is dissolved by a solvent. Solution. Ooh, I'm sorry, Xenon. All responses must be phrased as questions. That's a 1,000 electron deduction. Oh, uh, what's a solution? Uh, uh, oh, uh, not acceptable. Remember our show's title. Yuri? Um, what the heck? What the heck is... What the heck is a solution? That's right, Yuri. You just scored the first 1,000 electrons. <laughs> now, I'm not sure if we can call this mud in my cup a solution. Ooh. Maybe if you took the time to learn basic solubility rules, boron, you could make your own cup of brown goo. I just got lucky that time. You'll be fine, Yuri. Remember, concentrate. Next answer. The substance in boron's mug might be described this way. Concentrate, concentrate. That's right, Yuri. It's a concentrated solution. You just scored another 1,000 electrons. Hey, wait a minute. He didn't even ding his bell. And he didn't say what the heck. Careful, Ruth. No one likes a whiner. Ooh. Let's pause here and get to know our contestants. Yuri, you're in the lead. How do you plan to spend your winnings? Um, I'll be donating them to the Hungry Molecules Foundation. Ah, oh, that's sweet. What about you, Xenon? How will you spend your winnings if you win? I plan to donate my winnings to the Intergalactic Peace Alliance. That's great. And how about you, Ruth? Oh, man, my cell phone is at least six months old. There's a scratch on the screen, so it's time for a new phone. Oh, what the heck? Oh, sorry, Ruth, but cell phones aren't allowed on set. And you just said what the heck before an answer was given. That's a 1,000 electron deduction times two. Next answer. This is one way we can make the solution of brown goo in my mug less concentrated. What the heck is warm it up? Oh, no. I'm sorry, Xenon. That's not the answer we're looking for. Um, what the heck is add water? Judges? Yes, our judges will accept that answer. I'm sorry. That's not exactly accurate. There are several ways to create a less concentrated, more diluted solution. Certainly, one way is to add water. Sometimes you can add more solvent to your solution to dilute it. This is true. And although your solvent will often be water, it won't always be. That's great, Xenon, but... And, of course... If your solute won't dissolve in your solvent, you've reached your saturation point, and then often just warming up your solution is all you need to get your solute to dissolve. Yeah, um, uh, Xenon, are you questioning the wisdom of our judges? Well, yes, I guess so. 
and I wasn't finished. Now, your brown goo is clearly saturated and rather viscous, but were you to vaporize it, resulting in a gaseous solution, then adding pressure to it will change its concentration. Oh, Xenon questioning our judges is not allowed. That's a 5,000 electron deduction, Xenon. What the? Ooh, Xenon, you're not going to risk another 1,000 electron deduction, are you? Our next answer is the Daily Triple. This is an example of two things that can be mixed together to form a solution. Well, again, there are many possible questions to this answer, so what the heck? Here goes. You can mix two gases to make a gaseous solution. You can melt two metals together to create an alloy. You could dissolve a solid in a liquid or mix two liquids and of course... Whoa, whoa, Miss Smarty Pants, we can't follow complicated responses. A solid dissolved in a liquid. No, sorry. That's an answer, not a question. Um, what the heck are two liquids? That's right. Next answer. It's equal to moles of solute divided by liters of solvent. What the heck is molarity? Ooh, Miss Smarty Pants finally scores. But it doesn't really matter because it's obvious you and ruthenium will never beat Yuri's amazing number of electrons. Congratulations, Yuri. It looks like the hungry molecules won't have to starve anymore. But not to worry, Xenon and Ruth. You've each just won our consolation prize, an entire year's supply of concentrated brown goo. Delicious brown goo, concentrated solute. Mix it with the solvent and you'll have a goo day. Concentrated brown goo powdered solute. Dissolve it with the solvent of your choice to make a delicious solution. Warm it up when saturated to increase solubility of its gooey goodness. Evaporate it when it's too diluted to make your solution the perfect consistency. Ideal molarity is 2.5 M or 2.5 moles per liter. Concentrated brown goo is made in a factory that processes fertilizer. It may contain traces of manure. Thanks for joining us all. And we'll see you soon when once again we all say... What the heck?